we come to that point in our order of worship. You have to turn me down just a little, Jacob. Where we come together for a time of prayer. This is an opportunity we have to lift up those joys, those concerns, those thanksgivings that we might have for ourselves or for other persons. As we come together today, we have quite a few that I want to remind us of. Uh, Nancy Allman reports that her brother Dennis, who had thyroid removed because they felt it was cancer in it. There was indeed cancer in the thyroid, but it was contained to the thyroid. So that's a good yeah, diagnosis on that one. So yeah. we're glad to hear that. Nancy Kilgore wants us to continue to keep her sisters in our prayers. Uh, Dennis Ashley had a brother die this uh, in the last couple of days, so please keep Dennis and the family in your prayers. Alberta would like us to pray for Richard Lomax, her next door neighbor. Barbara Polly is still at Health South Rehab, so keep her in our prayers. I continue to pray for Betty Fleener's brother. Kat McClanahan wants us to keep her dad, Jerry Swanson, in her prayers, and her mom and her husband, that's Mary Jane and Ray Shingler. So keep them in your prayers. Continue to keep Benny Clifton in your prayers. David Barker, uh, Jim Cooper. Also, Rosa Hamrick wants us to remember her nephew, Dick, in our prayers, and Dale Williams as she continues to recover from a fall she had a little few days back. What else do we need to lift up in our prayers this morning? Barbara Fry. Barbara Fry. She's not doing well at all. It's cancer with her? Yes. Okay. What else? Angie, if you'll get the mic down to Angie. Um, remember Carmelita Vickersteel, even though she's out of the hospital right now, she is mentally, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically exhausted. So she needs our prayers. Also, I have no idea why that's doing that, sorry. Uh, there was a student at Eastside uh, that had an accidental shooting this week. He we're not, they're not exactly sure what happened, but he had a shotgun and he shot himself with buckshot in his thigh area. And he's still not out of the woods. He's struggling a lot and they have at least three more surgeries. And that's just to get the buckshot out and kind of start repairing. That's not even all the skin grafts and things he's gonna have to have done. <clears throat> and he lost his mother when he was in sixth grade at my school and didn't know his father. So he is definitely a kid that doesn't, he has some support, but he, he needs all the prayers he can get. Are there others? Christy? Um, I think we need to uh, praise for our Union Lady Bears that traveled to Richmond this weekend, even though they didn't, as Patty said earlier, they didn't win on the scoreboard, but, but they still went very, very far. And also the Ridgeview Lady Wolfpack um, for winning the state championship. And, and uh, from what I understand, all of those girls represented our area very, very well um, in the state capitol. And as we know, we tend to get forgotten over in that part of the Commonwealth. So I think just a praise to all of them and that traveled up there and their chaperones and everything that did a really great job this weekend. Okay. So they won the Sportsmanship Award. What else, Pat? Uh, I'd like you to put Arthur Kilgore on the prayer list. He's been hospitalized with congestive heart failure. And then Randall Kilgore is going to be having some surgery tomorrow. So pray that everything goes well with that. Got one back there, Chris? Got one, okay. Uh, actually, I got two. I've got a uh, uh, prayer request. I told you last week that, or I asked you to pray for the uh, the Clark family, Jimmy Clark family, who was very seriously ill. He did pass away last week, and uh, uh, they buried him yesterday. So uh, I would ask you to keep the family in mind in your prayers during this uh, time of uh, re redeveloping how they're going to do things. But I have a praise also. I, uh, this weekend, my ch children, all of them except one, and he couldn't get away, came down because I needed to, for them, according to them, I needed for them to work on my uh, flower bed out front. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and they worked all day yesterday. Did a real good job. 
and we had a, a lot of interaction among us. And actually, two of them still made it this morning. Two of them had to get back and uh, didn't make it to church, but I've got my daughter, Tammy, and her husband, Jack, and my other daughter, my first daughter, Dana, and they're with us, and I, uh, that's a phrase, and I, I hope you uh, will help be with me and pray for them on their trip back so that they, they arrive home safely. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Jane. Hi, I'm Kelsey Lima. I'm with Cross College with the Center Initiative for Students Who Have Been in Foster Care and Moving into College and Have No Money. And this year, Spring gave us they are online caring homes, and um, the money will go for them too. So if you are interested in buying tickets, I have them. They are tax deductible, part of it, a uh, large part of it. And uh, I appreciate your buying them and supporting these kids who need help with paying the cost. Is there a date on that? <laughs> yes, that's April the 18th. 30th. 30th? Okay. Terry, <laughs> I, have a, <laughs> I have a praise. My little dancer, Aslan Letton, she was in Cincinnati and they operated on her hand and the tumor was removed and it is benign. Delcina Wells, who works with me, her granddaughter has been really, really sick this week. They finally determined that she has mono, and she is three years old. So she's been really, really sick. So if you'll keep her and that family in your prayers. Uh, and also, another uh, lady that I work with, her husband's grandmother uh, had a stroke and has been in the hospital, but I think she's now back to Norton, uh, Norton Rehab. So. Uh, her name is uh, Eileen Brown. Okay, Rick. Uh, Barbara Fry is the mother of Brandon Offren. Brandon Offren is a student of mine from UVA wide and you know he's been. They moved his mother into their house with him. She goes to Charlottesville, and we're dealing with all this. But I just got to say, I went up and worked with his band this week. He went to the assessment concert band, what we used to call a concert festival, and. I came out of the working with him thinking there's no way that this band is going to do well at a concert assessment. He only had one trumpet, not much, at East Rockingham High School. He calls me on Friday. They got a one. Oh. <laughs> they got a one. I don't know how. <laughs> they got a one. The first one in the history of the school. Wow. And that's his first job, by the way. So I'm real proud of that. What else we need to lift Nine, up? Uh, Kim Shores, who's a, an aide at South Island Middle School, has been diagnosed with cancer, and her daughter like, graduated last year from uh, UN. So keep her in your prayers. Also, uh, Evan called last night. He's at candidacy school this week during spring break, and they were having him preach this morning. So keep him in your prayers traveling back. And then uh, I guess you've seen uh, – Posters all over town. Wise County is having pre-K roundup Tuesday for all the children. It's going to be four by September 30th, but, but you can. There's a lot of criteria. Some people think it's just income-based. It's not. It's not a criteria to get children in there. And then I will be leaving Wednesday for Richmond for the Vacy Conference. So all that traveling, keep us in your prayers. Thank you. What else? Debbie will be traveling some this week, so keep her in your prayer. She's off to a workshop in Chantilly, somewhere up near D.C., I think. So anything else? Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> most gracious and most holy God, we just come before you and we give you thanks that we have this opportunity to 
lift up these various concerns. Uh, there's a lot that seems to be on our minds this morning. A lot of people that are important to us. We know they're even more important to you. And so we bring them before your throne of grace and we just ask that you would let your spirit move in their lives, that you would touch them and, and fill them with your, your grace and your love. Bring them healing, give them guidance. Just let them know that you indeed are present with them and that you care so much for them. Help us as a church to continue to uh, make a difference in our community and help us to continue to reach out and help us to continue to care for those within our midst as well as best we can do. And just let us feel your guidance in all the things we do. We ask this in the name of Christ who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. <laughs>